So I applied for GATE when my GPA was not that high, and by the time I finished my fourth year, my GPA became that <laughs> cross the cut off. And do you think that IIT tag helped you in getting admission? Hey guys, this video is not a normal IIT to US journey. This journey is very very unique because her student, who abroad जाना चाहता है, he takes the road that everyone takes. But this journey is of a student who took the road not taken, especially in aerospace engineering, जहाँ पे मतलब बच्चों को लगता है कि scope बहुत कम होता है. But we have Umesh here who will be clearing all our doubts. Yeah. Uh, hi Arnor and everyone watching this video. Um, my name is Umesh. Uh, I'm doing my PhD in aerospace engineering at Georgia Tech. Um, prior to this, I did my bachelor's and master's from IIT Kharagpur in aerospace engineering, and then uh, I directly came here for my PhD. Uh, I'm almost close to graduation by end of this. सबसे पहले आप बताना what inspired you to pursue aerospace engineering rather than common norm, which is computer science, electrical, etc. I would say uh, the reason why I chose aerospace engineering is because I wanted to do something which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is related to the field of computer science, which is and uh, you know at that time abdul kalam was very famous and uh, my mom was suggested me that you can look also look at aero, aeronautical sciences at that time and uh, when i looked at that and gradually my interest in rocket sciences also grew i thought that this is some field which is really unique from other you know sciences kabhi kabhi mujhe lagta tha ki mechanic i at that time i didn't know anything about engineering like before going into engineering you do not know what it contains तो मेरे मन में ऐसा था कि मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मतलब मशीन से लेना देना है एंड एरोनोटिकल साइंसेस है तो बस रॉकेट सो दैट फैसिनेटेड मी अ लॉट एट दैट टाइम एंड आई वुड से लाइक अ सर्टेन एलिमेंट ऑफ यू नो शेयर अनएजुकेटेड बोल्डनेस अनइनफॉर्म बोल्डनेस एट दैट टाइम सो आई जस्ट thought I'll take the plunge so matlab aapka interest isme pehle se hi 9th sense se tha ya non medical ke baad ha i mean 9th sense se i i 9th tenth i decided i want to go to engineering more mm -hmm. oriented towards physics i think in by the by 11th and 12th 12th is where i got like very much attached to aerospace and by at, at the end of 12th when i was like giving my entrance exams i was like i want only aerospace i don't want anything else तो मैंने उस टाइम कंप्यूटर साइंस की तरफ देखा भी नहीं ऑल दो आई माइट हैव टू रिजेक्ट आई माइट हैव टू फील वरी अबाउट दैट लेटर बट या आई एंड आई आल्सो एट दैट टाइम यू नो कंप्यूटर साइंस वाज नॉट डूइंग एज पॉपुलर पीपल वेयर सेइंग दैट रिसेशन का टाइम था उतने जॉब्स नहीं है एंड दे वर लाइक वेरी मोनोटोनस जॉब्स कंप्यूटर साइंस उस टाइम मैंने उतना ध्यान दिया भी नहीं था I applied to Stanford and I got rejected from there because okay. I didn't have a very impressive GPA. Uh, apart from that, I applied to University of Minnesota, uh, University of Maryland, and uh, Georgia Tech, of course. And then I think I applied to Purdue as well. Uh, I applied based on I I applied purely based on my research interest and where I could find professors who were working in the exact problems that I was interested in. Mm -hmm. not based on the ranking that's uh, that's actually the best and i have learned the same from chitrang murdia's interview and our interests should be parallel to the interests of the professor in that university yeah yeah and, yeah and aapke interests kya hai like research interests currently research. so my uh, my research area is in computational fluid dynamics so it is like uh, how do you solve fluid problems using a computer simulation uh within that i'm particularly working on turbulence modeling so how do you replicate turbulence how do you understand turbulence using numerical simulations and also what are the effects of uh, reactions so basically combustion inside an engine those kind of things in india like the best aerospace school is iit kharagpur right yeah that's the uh, iit kharagpur is one of the oldest uh, the first uh, iit to get established and uh, of all the iits there are only four iits that offer aerospace engineering i iit ka score the air triple ka score mujhe frankly yaad nahi hai but i remember i was my uh, iit rank was around 2000 and uh, air triple rank was around 3000 
So uh, when I joined uh, IIT, I had the option of either doing a pure bachelor's, and there, they also had a dual degree program, which means that five-year course, this one you get your bachelor's and masters, and along with that, so in your final year, you end up doing all the master's level courses as well as a thesis. Mm-hmm. So I opted for the dual degree program. So I got my bachelor's and masters there in five years. Then, how did your interest in PhD में कैसे बढ़ा? Okay. Uh, सच बोलना है तो इन माय सेकंड ईयर आई वाज नॉट टोटली नॉट इंक्लाइन टू एनी एकेडमिक्स मुझे बस किसी तरह ग्रेजुएट होके जॉब लेना था एंड देन क्या बोलते हैं आई आई थिंक इट वाज इन माय थर्ड ईयर व्हेन आई एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड गेटिंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू यू नो द काइंड ऑफ द एडवांस लेवल क्लासेस जैसे हाई स्पीड एरोडाइनमिक्स था जेट प्रोपल्शन था उस टाइप के कोर्सेस लेते टाइम मुझे I actually realized, re, uh, rediscovered my passion towards aerospace, which was at there at the time of 12th. And then when I got in, like my first first year was a total disillusionment. I was like reading all the stuff which I didn't want to read. Second year was also kind of boring because it was like very abstract kind of basic level classes, uh, which did not really uh, excite me. But then in my third year, when I started doing actual like. Uh, application oriented classes like flight mechanics aerodynamics and those kind of uh, classes then i rediscovered my passion and then i started uh, approaching professors to you know kind of give me problems that i can work on uh, outside the class and usse mai i got i started looking at what kind of work is actually going on outside uh, what are people doing in this field what are the latest advancements waise mere ko aur interest badhte raha and then i I was like, okay, this in this five years, I'm not able to going to learn everything that I that this field is. So I think I need to learn more. So that's how I ended up uh, deciding to go for a PhD. So PhD can be great, don't you think? So there was so I I just said that that my GPA was not that high. So it was like that by you have. Uh, those who do not have a gpa above a certain i think around 8 i don't remember the cut off so fifth year mein when you actually doing your masters you get entitled to do to get a stipend from the government of india like monthly stipend milta because you're doing masters and you're doing research uh, to get that your gpa has to be above a certain limit so by the if you, if it is above a certain limit you get it by default or else you had to give the gate exam mm-hmm. and pass that Oh. So I applied for GATE when my GPA was not that high, and by the time I finished my fourth year, my GPA became that <laughs> crossed the cutoff. So GATE was. So and so, but since I anyway applied, I, I thought I might as well go and give the exam. And also, GATE score is useful uh, when you are applying to public sector uh, undertakings in the in, in in India. So, like DRDO and HAL, if you are applying to, they consider your GATE score for. Uh, for uh selection also awesome. so i thought okay might just might as well give the exam just test okay let me see how much i know about aerospace <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is the scope of aerospace engineering in us is it worth it aapko lagta hai ki aapke paas enough career opportunities hai yahan pe will you be able to find a job soon uh, well to be honest not as much as um i would like or anyone would like so you know that us mein defense the emphasis on defense is very really high like us ka defense program is one of the strongest and as a result they also invest a lot on that side so jaise aerospace companies pe aata hai most of the companies tend to work in that area so defense and space area usme non citizens are not allowed to work oh yeah and in most cases even permanent residents are not allowed Oh my god it is that restrictive but apart from that uh, there are you know more general companies so even in uh, if you take, let's say general electric uh, you might get to work in some of their business areas but not directly on the advanced level uh, areas like research and those kind of things okay so per aapka future plan kya hai like what are you hoping oh when... so i i i'm really uh, interested in continuing my research so i want to go look uh, so after this i'll be doing a post doc in a national lab and uh, after that i eventually want to go into academia because i like teaching as well 
ஒருத்தன் <laughs> Uh, national labs is a good uh, alternative and there are also many other companies that you know like consulting companies aerospace com- consulting so they uh, so like big companies like boeing nasa they uh, give away they outsource some of their projects to some company which they don't feel like is you know has a lot of uh, restrictive uh, information uh, associated with that so those kind of companies do a lot of good research so those kind of op- companies are still open wow and what do you think is the like like scope as a ms student versus phd student aapko lagta hai ki ms is not worth it like phd mein aapne so apne bata hi diya you have a gates you have so many gates open in academia but ms ke baad shayad itne gates na open ho itni opportunities na open ho right uh to companies ke point of view se i think masters and phd are almost similar because companies utna depth nahi chahte hain like they don't look for that kind of you know deep knowledge or understanding uh in terms of research so they just want some uh person with you know the core uh, knowledge uh, and they can work along with that so the for the companies i don't think it makes much of a difference so national labs if you want to do research they they do require you have a phd and also some of the companies which are oriented towards research they would look for a phd wow Yeah, that makes sense and what about salary kitna matlab phd ke baad what do you expect to make in a company versus in academia i think companies pay much more than academia uh, so companies and uh, and also like you know the you have the factor of growth as well in companies so as you keep growing within the organization your salary also increases but in academia i think uh, it's more or less capped i would say starting around 90 thousand to hundred thousand per year mm-hmm. uh, and as you you know progress to become a full professor maybe somewhere around 150 that's, that's about the cap if that but, is that is definitely good yeah, but it in company this you can start off maybe like say 80 or 90 and then there is no limit you can keep growing absolutely <laughs> and do you think that iit tag help you in getting in mission or agar koi student matlab non iit se bhi hota hai usse bhi itne easily with same scores mil jati hai mission uh bit of and talking about fees jitne bhi maine phd students dekhe they are like pretty much fully funded so is that the same in aeronautical engineering as well yeah yeah so in phd programs pretty much usually everyone is funded because you can't afford to pay 5 years of <laughs> yeah absolutely and so either you have a research assistantship or the school would offer you a teaching assistantship wow that's cool and if you can i mean not exactly if you can tell the range of assistantship i can tell that in gsu the range is around 15000 to 20000 dollars per annum so georgia tech mein itni hai georgia tech mein uh kitna hota hai i uh 24000 to 26000 per year Okay that is incredible and after doing aerospace engineering phd ms undergrad etc can you work for other industries because computer science is very flexible is aerospace also flexible to learn from different companies it is yeah you can definitely work like my own lab mate uh, he worked in the same area of research that i did and now he is working in a semiconductor industry uh Z- Z- i think xilinx or something uh he he is working on uh, heat transfer within those chips so they you don't have to necessarily go into aerospace on itself the thing that you get from a phd is problem solving skills the ability to solve problems think out of the box if you can convince your employer that i think most of the industries are open to you having you and apart from that there are also many consulting companies and if you build your skills like let's say computer science programming and data science when those kind of companies are willing to take you because they are also looking for uh, people who can combine those skills with some sci- kind of science mm-hmm. so those things are also open that is so incredible and last question did you take any other exam as compared to gre and tofl kya aapko gre jaise ki physics if you want to do phd in physics some students have to take gre physics exam was there any other exam for you or just gre 
No, I just took G- uh, the normal GRE and TOEFL. Okay, perfect. So it was pleasure having you here. Thank yeah. you so much for your valuable knowledge. Ah, <laughs> uh, no problem. I hope whatever I shared uh, is useful to people who are prospectively coming here. Uh, I hope it helps in their preparation as well. Yeah.